Kenyans have been asking themselves questions, and a number of questions, actually lots of questions. For example, where are the marginalized areas found? Uh, Subrogations identified as marginalized are 1,424, and the majority of these areas amounting to 1,010 are in 11 counties, while it's 77.3% of the equalization fund, uh, which will share 77.3% of the equalization fund resources. The 11 counties are Trukana, West Bokot, Narok, Mandera, Wachir, Samburu, Kalisa, Balingo, Kirifi, Malsabit, and Tanliva which means Kwale is out of this uh, uh, 1,010, which are most marginalized. The rest of the marginalized areas are spread across the 23 counties and will cumulatively share the remaining 22.7% of the correlation fund. These are Kachiado, Kitui, Kwale, uh, Migoli, Isioro, Homa Bay, Rekipia, Nandi, Erigeo Maraquet, uh, Kelicho, Pungoma, uh, Lamu, Tarakanithi, Siaya, Meru, Kisumu, Bomet, Busia, Taita, Tafeta, Machakos, Transoya, Nakuru, and Muranga. Counties will benefit from equalization fund uh, uh, using a given formula. Now, the second question that Kenyans have been asking the Commission is uh, what informed the change of unit of analysis from county to subrogation? You see, initially they were based on 14 counties in Kenya, whereby we had Kwale, Galisa, uh, Turkana, and other counties, 14 of them. But now it has expanded the scope, and now they will reach out to some pockets of poverty and marginalization. So, what informed the change of unit from counties? to subrogation. Using a smaller unit improves targeting of marginalized communities. It also ensures that pockets of marginalized areas, which are backward in, the ta in terms of provision of basic services within relatively well-to-do counties are identified for interventions in order to bring the level of services to the level generally enjoyed by the rest of the country. So if you think that your area is marginalized, you will wonder when you move to another area where they have never received any services from county or national government, whether it is water provision, whether it is roads, whether it is uh, health care, they don't receive. I was in such a village recently, a village called Fumbu in Kwale County. They are really marginalized. Now, is there a difference between poverty and marginalization? This is a big question. Is there a difference between poverty and marginalization? So poverty is measured at household level and refers mainly to lack of material or monetary resources. Marginalization, on the other hand, refers to lack or limited access to basic services. For example, clean water, health care, education that need to be provided by the government. So if an area is not receiving these basic services, that area is marginalized. But if people in a certain village lack material things, they lack monetary resources, that is poverty. So an area can be poor, but not marginalized. You are poor, you don't have a car, you don't have a bicycle, but you, your area is well supplied with water, it's well supplied with health facilities. So there is a difference between poverty and marginalization.